So today we are going to go uh, check my TPS sensor and I'm um, just going to show you guys how to do that quickly. Um, I know there's a lot of forums out there that tell you how to do it, but um, I'm just going to show you because a lot of you guys are visual learners, but um, it's quick and easy. Uh, you just got to make sure um, you have a voltmeter of some sort and a paper clip. Um, preferably I like using these ones right here. It's the... Uh, the full metal one with no no color you know it's the easiest way to do it um, but yeah so we're gonna go be checking this bad boy right there let's get to it all right so right here is the TPS harness and we are going to uh, grab the positive signal coming out of this middle wire um, on mine it's a three prongs so I have a black a white and a blue and we're just going to be getting the signal positive signal from the white wire so in order to do that you need to take your paper clip and you're just going to insert it into the uh, little rubber housing here uh, it's kind of hard to do it with one hand on the camera and you know one hand doing this so I'm going to go cut the vid show you how I do that to get the uh, signal ready all right so here's the positive lead on the TPS sensor connected to my positive lead on my voltmeter using the paper clip the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and ground the negative lead I just grounded it to the throttle cable bracket um, your car should be on the on position but the car is not on and we're going to go read the volts so right now in the closed position, I'm at 0.47 volts, which is uh, the acceptable range, in good range right now. And if we're at wide open throttle, I should be at around 4 volts wide open. So I'm at 4.08 volts wide open. Um, so this is a, a good TPS, I mean it's a brand new one, um, but just another way to show you guys, um, if you do suspect that your car has a TPS issue um, this is the way to check it so again white wire that's your positive lead ground your negative lead to a chassis have your car on and you should be around 0.4 volts closed and 4.0 volts on open or wide open throttle I should say uh, but yeah so there it is how to check your TPS sensor. So I hope you enjoyed the video and trying to get this bad boy running pretty good. Deuce.